Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy stole from you it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. So we have the five of pentacles. There could be someone out here with some type of limiting belief. You could be someone that comes from a religious background. In your whole life, you've been told things are supposed to be a specific way. People do this. People don't do that. People believe in this. People are not supposed to believe in that. You're supposed to carry yourself this way. You don't hang with those people. Whatever those people do is demonic. Let's for, let's say, for for example, you could come from a religious background. Maybe you're Catholic, Muslim, um, Jewish, um, whatever it is, right? Uh, and your whole life, you've been told that, let's say tarot. Tarot is, for, it is demonic. Terror is dark work, um, but there, there's some type of misconception that's being that's being fed to you. And if you unfortunately start off in this religion at a young age, you are hearing this for years, right? And you grow up hearing this for, let's say, 10, 20 years or something like that, right? Or maybe you're even in your 40s or 50s now. There is some type of misconception that's being fed to you that you have learned to embody and embrace full-heartedly without your conscious uh input in it right so because your parents told you we go to church on sunday we have bible study on fridays and wednesdays you said that's how life is supposed to be so when you have children you do the same thing you take them to church on sunday have bible study on fridays and wednesdays they are supposed to follow the ten commandments even though you don't really understand the uh, uh, background of those commandments you're not realizing that the ten commandments are taken from the 48 laws of mayat right which is not a religious text right um so there's some type of limiting belief that has been imposed on you but because you've been in this religion for so long and for so many generations in your family you think that's the right religion to be that's the only religion to be this is when christians say uh god is the guys is the one god is the one and only true god or something uh christ is the only one to believe in when that's in a sense is hypocrisy because you're coming from two different backgrounds how are you going to tell someone that comes let's say from uh asia that they got to believe in god or in jesus christ just because you believe in jesus christ that's hypocrisy people come from different backgrounds for a reason and they practice different religions for a reason that's why there are different cultures around the world right if we were all supposed to be the same we wouldn't have different continents and different cultures and different languages and things of that nature. There is a reason why we have uh, this big bowl of Tassidi going on, right? If you all remember what Tassidi is, Tassidi was the land of uh, mixed cultures back in the day in Africa, right? People came from all different walks of life to either live or work in Tassidi. There was a beautiful, colorful uh, dynamic of uh, just life going on into city of course it ended up being destroyed or just it came to an end but the world the earth is a beautiful to city people come from different backgrounds for a reason when you come out of your religion and try to impose it onto someone else you're basically uh trying to staff in someone else's freedom to be who it is that they are nowhere in the world no being came from another planet and told you you, the the God you are serving is the one and true God. That's the only God everybody is supposed to serve, right? Um, because it, that that don't make no sense, sir, ma'am. That don't make no sense. Okay, there's someone in or a group of people in the I'm not gonna say the collective, but they watch people, and they're not even committed to their religion, but because there's something about spirituality that bothers them. They have gotten on some type of mission to destroy people that are spiritual, people that do divination, people that do any other form of religious practices that does not have to do with Christianity. Okay, Christianity is the newest religion. Okay, how old is Christianity? 200 years, 2,000 years. It had to be, what, 2,000 years because of, oh, if you go back to Christ, um, 
and maybe a little over 2,000 years, but Christianity is the youngest religion alive, right? So how then can Christianity, how can Christians say that Jesus Christ is the only true <laughs> son of God? Aren't we all sons of God? Wasn't Lucifer here before? <laughs> and Lucifer was what created by the source. So what happened to Lucifer? How is Jesus Christ the true son of God? That don't make no sense, right? So there's someone here, uh, a group that has some type of religious mindset. Uh-huh. Religious belief that you don't wholeheartedly believe in. I could even be talking to a higher fan. But this is an institution I'm picking up on. You all are not wholeheartedly devoted to your religion. Someone, I, there's a woman in your intuition, in your institution I'm picking up on that does not even want to be part of their religion. Someone is a false religious figure. Does not want to be religious. The religion bothers her. Let's say this is someone that's Muslim. Praying three, four times a day is something that bothers her. She don't want to do it. She don't get the point. She feels restricted. She feels confined. Uh, like she feels that she's being constrained or something like in a jail cell. Someone hates the religion. Okay. The, just the very aspect of it. She does not feel that she has the freedom to be herself. So you have these kind of religions out here, these kind of uh, institutions out here that feel like their way of doing things is the only way because any other way it makes them feel uncomfortable. How do you get out of there? You got to open your mind to other ways of being, other ways of living, other ways of being one with source. Because I'm sorry to tell you, but there are many paths that lead to source. And Christianity is like the last one of those paths on the list. Okay? Because oftentimes in Christianity, they teach you to look outside, outside of thyself. To find what? Help. To find solutions, to find answers. When other religions, nine out of ten times, they're telling you to go within. Think of spirituality. Spirituality tells you what to go within. Now I know they say spirituality is not religious. It's a form of religion in a sense. Okay, this is something. This is a path you commit yourself to becoming one with thyself and connecting to source. It's a form of religion, right? Because you got to learn how to do that. You got to learn how to go within. You got to learn how to meditate. It is hard to stay in the moment because that's all meditation is. It's staying within the moment, staying calm and staying in the moment, keeping focus, your focus on the moment, not wandering off mentally to never, never land. That's what meditation is. Um, but in order to change that mindset, because I think there's someone in our collective that watches is struggling with this. This could be a higher fend. You got to open your mind to other ways of living, whether it's other religions or whether it's other practices, other uh, cultures and things like that. Because whatever you all are practicing is quite restricting. Most of your church members, they may not want to say it, but they feel restricted as well. I don't know if there's some type of money. Uh, maybe you all are in like a very abundant institution because I'm not really even getting that you all care about what it is you do. I'm getting more so institutional, which is really sad because Christianity was not created to be something that is supposed to garner money from the community, which typically since you all are showing up with the five of pentacles, you tend to take more from the community than you give to the communities that you are in. And when these communities need your assistance, you all are nowhere to be found. It's basically our name is missing and we are not in it. But when it comes time to give these speeches and to present yourself to the public, you come out as religious figures devoted to your uh, craft, devoted to your Lord and Savior. But behind the scenes, you're living a whole different life. This is a whole institution I'm talking to. And there's a leader of an institution that feels disconnected from what it is he or she has been practicing and they are opening up themselves to other possibilities okay so with that the, uh your your spiritual beliefs are limiting you and if you want to learn how to break it whether you're a man or woman or the whole institution you're gonna have to let go of that uh we know what's best our way of living is the best uh it's not that's why you got people out here that do whatever they want to do. They're not coming to church uh, because church just don't make sense. The religious text and things like that, they just don't make sense. I'm so sorry I don't say that to be rude, but there are just too many questions that are not answered. 
okay uh and people are out here wanting to find the answers for themselves so if that's something that bothers you then that means there's something within yourself that you need to address because your life has nothing to do with what the other person is doing with their life everybody is on a solo journey maybe that's that person's a uh, way of ascending this lifetime um not being christian because we're all here to learn and learning has to do with experiencing life in all these different aspects of it right whether it's you being catholic you being lutheran whether it's you being a bug you being a rock whatever we're all here to experience life on a different level in different ways uh, and that is for our ascension when you all choose to have these limiting mindsets and belief system um you are limiting yourself at the end of the day. You're not limiting anyone else because whoever you are trying to destroy for having a different mindset in you is ascending by the second. Um, and you are stagnant and will remain stagnant until you decide to open up and let go of your toxic ways and see things from other people's, other people's perspective and leave them be. Anyways, so at the end of the day, uh, your limiting belief system that has to do with your religion, your spiritual practices, or what, or what, I don't even know how to put it. That's what's holding you back. Let's just put it in uh, a simpler term. It's what's holding you back. Let go. <laughs> I know Christians say let go and let God, but let go and like let thyself be okay go within and you will find all the answers that you need to all this thing about having to go to church on sundays talk to the bishop go and confess your sins to the bishop the bishop don't win committed or 10 out of the i mean nine out of the 10 commandments but you're sitting there confessing to him not knowing that he don't did the same thing that you did who is he confessing to another uh bishop or a priest that priest don't dare what 10 out of 10 okay commandments so who is he going to exactly you're talking to people that don't have any authority to make any type of decisions or judgment on your behalf when it comes to the supreme being okay so when it comes to god your bishop cannot do anything for you <laughs> Your bishop and yourself are on the same plane. Your book has some explaining to do when you leave this realm and those consoles ask you, what did you learn this lifetime? What did you do this lifetime? You can't be there and say, well, Bishop Bishop John told me, blah, 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 blah. Uh, bishop John, blah, blah, blah. They don't care what Bishop John did. They're asking you about uh, you. Okay? Anyways, let go of your limiting belief systems. That is what's holding you back. And I know people hate to hear that, but Christianity, uh, any type of religion that does not allow you to be you, that is restricting, is holding you back on a solo level and uh, on a grand level, okay? So anyways, once you let go of that, you are free to be you. And I know though people in the religious community, they look at people that do divination, people in spirituality as the cuckoo birds, but I bet you we're more happier than you all are. Wanna bet? Watch a spiritual person move about in life and see how free they are. Nothing is holding them back. They're not worried about what Peter thinks of them. They're not worried about what uh, Mary thinks of them, right? They are just happy to be them. They're just happy to be. Meanwhile, you all got to worry about what? It turned to a lie last night. You know, Peter is a blah, 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 blah. Why are you gossiping about Peter and John? Let them be, okay? Okay. Worry about yourself. Go learn to be happy. You deserve to be happy. Just like that spiritual worker is just happy. You don't know why they're happy, but they're happy. Okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.